Hello, hello, hello. Hey, everyone. Shut up. <laughs> how's, how's it going? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, but welcome back to learning how to create a D and well, learning, yeah, learning how to create a DND character. But yeah. Damn, forgot to put some background fucking. Is this the video? Yeah. <laughs> some atmosphere in the background while we do our DND fucking character. Uh, so last time I said that I would read up on the back stories. I kind of like didn't really. I kind of like glimpsed over it. Really, I was like, ah, all. Oh wait, why is it so low? I don't know the. I mean, the music is a little bit too low. Or at least I want to hear it. Uh, but yeah. Um. But hey, we can read it together. And all this and that, which I gotta do. Because if I want to make a good backstory, let's just see what I want to add. Um, but yeah, I've been actually learning a little bit more stuff uh, about D&D &D in the background. Um, I actually want to do a couple more stuff and st uh, stream it, which could be a lot of fun. Um, which is uh, creating a D&D &D map. I got a couple ideas that I could uh, use, which could be a lot of fun to do. Um, probably something to look like shit, but hey, you know. Uh, I'm trying to create all these things uh, and try to create uh, my own story and how am I going to like create it and all that. It's gonna take some time. But hey, this is a lot of fun. I actually got the... What was it? I forget, I forget the name. Hey, papi, como estas? <laughs> hey, papi, tu sabes. Haciendo el personaje de D&D aquí. Separadito. <laughs> That's my friend Josh. Huh? He's like, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna make the character. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, but first, I gotta see the backstory. So what I want to add. So, because I made him neutral, I might... Let's see. Where... What page is it that says the backstories? I mean, backgrounds. Am I blind? I can't even see it. Somewhere around this page. Okay, I actually can't find the backstories here. Um... Oh, backgrounds. I'm, I'm actually stupid. I'm, ser I'm searching backstories, but it's not backstories, it's just backgrounds. So that's page 125. But I passed that page. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, here it is. Backgrounds. Every story has a beginning, your character's background reveals where you came from and how you became an adventurer. Your place in this world, your fighter might have been courageous, a courageous knight, or a grizzled soldier. Okay.
I mean, I kind of want to add something a little bit, but like add more skills that could be very good. Because if I can be proficient in that, I can raise up obviously the points. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like I I don't know if I'm a little bit sick or whatever, but it's kind of annoying. So, some some of these give you. I feel like I it's a little bit too loud. There. So I want to add at least two skills. I mean, one background to my character. But as you can see, you can add. Where is it? Let's see. Uh, Acolyte, you have spent your life in the servant of uh, the service of a temple to a specific god or pantheon of gods. You act as a ter uh, in termity. What what the fuck is this? Intermediary between the realm of the holy and the mortal world. Performing scared, uh, scared, uh, wait, scared rites and offering sacrifices in order to conduct worships into the uh, spence of the divine. Uh, you are not necessarily a cleric, performing a sacred rite. A rites is not the same as uh, channeling divine powers. Choose a god, a pantheon of a god, or choose uh, other quasi-divine being f uh, form among those listed in the appendix B or those specified by your DM. I mean, so I can choose what a god. I get two language choices, basically. That's if I choose Acolyte. Uh, equip a holy symbol, a gift of your, of when you entered the priesthood, a prayer book, or a prayer wheel. What the fuck is a prayer wheel? Five sticks of incense, vestments, a set of common clothes, and a pouch of, of pouch containing 15 GP bruh that ain't I, I ain't gonna get no fucking I don't want to be a priest <laughs> what the fuck is that <laughs> plus I only get fucking get to select two languages that's not fucking cool that's shit like I, I rather choose something a little bit more oh fuck let's just leave it here while i keep on reading some of these okay charlatan you have always had a way with people you know what makes them tick you can oh but <laughs> you can tease their hearts desires after a few minutes of conversation with a few leading questions you can Read them uh, like they were, child. Uh, they were children's books. It is use. Uh, it's a useful talent, and one that you're perfectly willing to use for your advantage. That sounds fucking cool. Let's see what skills do I use? Deception and sleight of hand. Okay, tools proficiencies. Do I get these tools? This guy's kit. Forgery kit. Okay. Do I get those at the moment? Like, I'm a little bit confused. Maybe I do? I don't know. Oh, wait. Tool proficiencies. That doesn't mean I get it. Yeah, that just means that 
I'm proficient at that. Okay. Okay, I got that. Okay. Equipment. There's a set of fine clothes, disguise kit, tools of a con of your choice. Ten uh, sp spreaded bottles filled with colored liquid instead of weight dice with weighted dice a deck of marked cards or a signet ring of imaginary duke imaginary duke what the fuck is that and a pouch of 15 gp okay but still i mean deception and sleight of hand could be good i mean hey i could be of a piece of shit i mean that's i mean is it really a piece of shit? I mean, you're kind of like decepting people and fucking wanting to take their take them for their advantages. My friend already has criminal. I mean, well, I mean, like I I wouldn't choose criminal because it's deception and stealth. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. But I mean, I, I think sleight of hand is a little bit much better because you know if you're gonna steal something or take something, I mean. Yeah, what 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 does it fully do? Uh, I can read here. Sleight of hand. Oh shit, it's in the way. Whenever you attempt to act a. Uh, what the fuck is that? Act of ledger domain, or <laughs> manual trickery, such as planting something. Or on oh wait oh fuck on someone else or concealing an object on your person making a dexterity side of hand check the GM might also call for a dexterity side of hand check German rather you can lift a coin purse off another person slip something out of there I mean that's pretty good. I mean, maybe I'll be our charlatan. Maybe. I'll keep checking. But no, I'm not gonna... Oh, you wait. Wait a minute, I didn't notice this, but as a, as a criminal, you get a crowbar, a set of dark common clothes, including a hood, and a pouch of containing 15 GP. Okay. Um... Entertainer, you thrive in front of an audience. You know how to, uh, you know how to, entrance them, entertain them, or the and, and even inspire them. Your po poetics can stir the hearts of those who hear you, awakening uh, grief or joy, laughter or anger. Your music raises their spirits or capture their sorrow. I'm not going to keep reading, but yeah. Acrobatics, uh, performance. What is performance, actually? I I don't think I've ever used really performance. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know where to put this, but hey, let's, let's do it there. Your charisma performance check determines how well uh, you delight... An audience with music, dance, acting, storytelling, or something. Uh, uh, I don't know about that, Chief. I don't know. I don't like that. I mean, acrobatics is pretty good. You get another disguise kit. It's, uh, well, I mean, you don't get it, but that's your proficiency in type of musical instruments. Equipment and musical instrument. One of your choice. Only one? The favor of... Admire, love letter, luck of hair, or trinket. A custom and pouch containing. Oh, a custom, sorry. Eh. That's more for like, you know, a bard. Okay, what is this? Folk hero. That's very short. You come from a humbled social rank, 
but you are destined for so much more. Already the people of your home village regard you as their champion, and your destiny calls you to stand against the tyrants and monsters that threaten the common folks everywhere. Okay. Animal handling and survival. Fuck that because I don't want to handle animals. Yeah. Well, there's something that I, I don't really care much about. I mean, let's see. This question you can calm down and domesticate animals, keep it in uh, a mount from getting spooked. Uh, yeah. Again, that depends if we're gonna get a fucking animal. Depends. And I mean, animal handling survival. I mean, I can see survival where, where it could be good, but I, I don't think I would pick that at all. So, yeah. Okay, Guild Arston. Well, actually, Insight and Persuasion. Uh, I'm already Persuasion. Oh, wait, per no, that's Perception. <laughs> uh, that's in... Where actually, where is that? Perception, persuasion. Am I dumb? I can't actually fucking see it here. Oh, persuasion. Jesus Christ, the last one. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> fucking stupid. I mean, that could be good insight and persuasion. Maybe. But what is this? A guild Ariston. You are a member of an Ariston's guild, skilled in a particular field and closely associated with another artisans. You are well established, part of the uh, Merce, what? mercantile world, fed by the talent and wealth of the con uh, constraints of federal social order. You learn your skills as an apprentice to a master artisan under the worship of the guild until you became a master in your own right. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm proficient only in one, ty only one type of artisan tools. One language of your choice. Oh, okay. Okay, uh... What are artisan tools? Uh, I've never... I mean, I'm gonna have to take this out. Can I just search here? Maybe in equipment... Uh, I would have to write artisan tools, right? Oh, shit. No. No. What is an artisan tool? I'm gonna have to check in Google. Oh wait, did I write that wrong? Artisan, right? Yeah. What are artisan tools? What are artisan tools? Oh, craft or trade. I'm proficient with that. Artisan tools, those special tools include the item needed to Pursue a craft or trade. Some examples of the most common types tools. What do they do exactly, though? In order to use artisan tools, you need to uh, specify them. Uh, 
Okay. Well, how do I find it though? Oh, these are artists and tools. Glass blowers, jewelry tools, potters, smithing, tinkers, weavers. alchemist supplies so I guess I can make things that could be good brewer supplies maybe could I make potions or stuff like that I mean maybe I mean it really depends on how it would work though the persuasion I don't know if I really want to be good at that but I do get one you know, language of my choice, which that's cool. Oh, uh, so yeah, maybe. Uh, it could be good. Well, let's see. A hermit. Medicine and religion. No. Already saw religion and hell no. Because don't isn't it? Yeah, it's it's a negative for me, so it'll be just a fucking waste. Okay, a noble history persuasion. I don't. Again, I have a fucking negative one and fucking and that. I'm not gonna waste it on that. Uh, Outlander athletics and survival. I mean, okay, so I might be between a guild artisan or a uh, outlander, maybe. You grew up in a in the wilds, far from civilization, in the comforts of your uh, town and technology. You've witnessed the migration of herds large in the forest, survived weathers more extreme than any city dweller could and uh, could comprehend sorry and enjoy the solitude of being the only thinking creature for miles in any direction the wilds are in your blood whether you are whether you were a nomad an explorer a recluse what's a recluse a hunter gatherer or a martyr even in the place where you don't know the specific feature of the terrain you know the ways of the wild i mean hey that's pretty fucking cool man pretty fucking cool and i can add a language survival and athletics i mean that could be good but uh, yeah I am not taking the risk until I know what the fuck survival is for. Because I keep forgetting what survival really is for. Okay, makes you... Okay, let's make it wisdom. Check the following tracks. Uh, hunt wild game. Guide your group through the frozen wasteland. Identify signs that owlbears live nearby. Or avoid quicksand and natural hazards. Well, that's natural hazard so I mean let's see what are we profession in perception and survival oh my god wait I can't oh I'm already good at those I can't I just noticed I can't pick that ah oh, fuck man yeah I can't pick none of this or or even sage Sage would be very fucking and perception. I can't pick nothing with perception because I'm already good at that. Athletics and intimidation. One type of 
gaming set. Vehicle slammed. What? I don't know. Urchin. Oh, that's it. I mean, those are the only ones. I mean, I could get insight and persuasion with the uh, guild artisan and the... no. No. Yep, I'm gonna have to go with that one. Anyway, wait, what was the other one? Our charlatan. Deception and sleight of hand. Ooh, maybe... I mean, insight and perception, I mean, persuasion, could be very good. Insight is really good, right? Insight, check uh, whether you can determine the true intentions of a creature, such as when you're searching out a lie, or pre uh, predicting someone's next move, doing some... Uh, Doing so involves gleaning clues from your body language, speech habits, and change in mannerisms. Uh, well, I mean... Hey. I'm gonna have to pick Guild Artisan. Yep. That's what I have to pick. Because I don't see anything that I feel like will be good with this. Guild business guilds are generally found in cities large enough to support several artisans practicing the same trade. However, your guild might uh, instead be loose on network of artisans who each work in different villages within uh, a large realm work with your DM to determine the nature of your guild you can select your guild business from the guilds table or roll randomly I mean so this is I can choose than what I could be good at then, from my understanding, right? Uh, so I can be an alchemist, uh, or armors, blacksmith, and fine smithing. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. Calligraphers, friends. Blah, 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 cook, baker. I don't want to be a fucking cook, baker, because I'm not going to be fucking cooking and baking in the fucking middle of a fight. Leather workers, skinners, tanners. Missing some... I think I will go, yeah, with Guild Artisan, and I will go for Armist and Locksmith, and find Smithing, Smithings. I mean, the other one also sounds good, Smithing and Metal Forgers. Hmm. Yeah, I already know, that's number two. So let's make a guild. Hmm. 
There we go. Guild Artisan. That's what's gonna be. But the personality traits are ones that I believe... Like, let's just read the person personality traits. I believe in anything worth doing is worth doing right. I can't help it. I am a perfectionist. No. I'm a snob who looks down on those who can't appreciate fine art. Oh, sir. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck no, I want to be a snob. I always want to know how things work and what makes people thick. <laughs> what makes people thick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love to know that <laughs> what makes them milf thick. <laughs> but no, thick. I mean, tick. People tick, not thick. Jeez. <laughs> I am a... Wait. I'm full of witty atmospherism and have a... I don't know how to say it. Admorphism. Atmospherism. And have a... Pro pro proverb for, for... Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with my reading? But I'm not gonna fucking grab that. That sounds like fucking stupid. I am rude to people who lag. My com <laughs> commitment to hand work and fair play. <laughs> That's so stupid. I like to talk. <laughs> what? I like to talk at length about my profession. Ah uh, yes, I love killing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, uh, part with my money easily, haggle tirelessly to get best deal possible. Okay. I don't part with, m oh yeah, jeez, I already read that. I'm well known for my work, and I want to make sure everyone appreciates it. I always take a back when people haven't heard of me. <gasps> what? You've never heard of the great Flint Vogar, the gnome, the barbarian. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds a little, like, it just sounds like shit, man. Uh, can, oh, wait. Oh, this, wait, no. Oh, man, such fucking shitty personality traits. I always want to know what makes, what, how things work, and what makes people tick. I mean, I believe that anything worth doing is worth doing, right? Can help it. I'm a professional. Nah, man, that sounds like shit. Man, I can be a real fucking piece of shit. Let's just say that for real. Like, feature guild members. I I, I gotta read this. I think. An established and respected member of a guild. You can rely on certain benefits that memberships provide. Your fellow guild members will provide you with your lodging and food if necessary. Ooh. And pay for your funeral if needed. Holy shit. In some cities, the towns and guild hall offers a certain place to meet with other members of a profession which can be good uh which can be a good place to meet uh potential patrons allies or hearlings guilds often wield political power oh my god man you're accused of a crime your guild will support you if a if a good case can be made for your innocence. 
Holy fuck. <laughs> or the crime is justifiable. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, I want to pick this one. I was kind of regretting it, but man. Okay, such connections might... What does it say? Such con... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. I kind of lost. Yeah, wait. Where? Oh. You can also gain the power of political figures throughout the guild. If you are a member in good standing, such as connections, it might require the donation of money or magic items to the guild's coffers. Coffers. Never heard of that like that. You can, you must pay. Oh my god, dues of ten. Oh my god, to the guild. If you miss payment, you must make. Oh my god, Oh my god, man. I gotta give money to these fucking people, man. Fuck no. <laughs> I gotta pay them monthly? Bro, what the fuck? I thought they were gonna pay me. <laughs> pay me. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, fuck, man. It sounded good until the five months. I mean, hey, we... But, I mean, hey, I mean, I could get away with crimes. Just, just for ten pieces of gold. I mean... I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. Let's let's go with the fucking thing. I don't gotta pay monthly something, which is fucking stupid. But hey, let's be a fucking piece of shit. Now let's go for ideals. Let's see what ideals I have. Community. It is the duty of the civilized people to strengthen the bond of the community and the security of the civilization. Lawful. Oh, fuck off. Generosity. I was gonna say something else. My talents were given to me so that I could. Oh, use them to be. Uh, to. Benefit the world. So stupid. Freedom. Everyone should be free to pursue his or her own livelihood. Chaotic. Oh. Greed. I am the only. Oh wait, I am only in it for the money. The money. Yeah. I don't know. People. I'm committed to the people I care about, not into ideals, okay? I work hard to be the best there is at my craft. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe aspiration or freedom? Sounds kind of good. I should actually be putting these fucking points into... What was it? Persuasion and insight. Persuasion and insight. Oh, no, 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 I can't do that. No, no, I'm not gonna... I need to delete it with the other thing. So that means with my professional balls, I have to put a fucking two. Professional. And inside, I gotta put a four. Mother fuck, I just wanna press the fucking thing. <laughs> the fuck is going on here? 
What? There we go. Gotta be a four. Oh fuck, no, 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 no. Take it that way. Uh -huh. Yep, that's gonna be a four. Can't go back, I already chose this. Fuck. Uh... I work hard for the best there is. Oh. I work hard to be the best there is at my craft. Aaron should be free to pursue his or her own livelihood. Eh, let's go for freedom, I guess. Chaotic. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that stupid show. <laughs> Chaotic. Uh, bond. Let's see. The workshop where I learned my trade is the most important place in the world to me. Dude, come on. I created great work for someone and then found them unworthy to receive it. I am still looking for someone worthy. <laughs> I owe my guild a great debt for forging me into the person I am today. I pursue wealth and secure someone's love. Oh, one day I will return to my guild and prove that I am the greatest artisan of them all. Okay. I will get revenge on the evil forces that destroyed my place of business and ruined my livelihood. Damn, bro. Uh, uh, I don't know. I owe my guild a great debt for forging me into the person I am. I think I'll go with that because, I mean, bruh. I don't even fucking know. So, yeah. Flaw. Let's see the flaw. I'll do and get to get my hands on something rare or priceless. Uh, I'm quick to assume that someone is trying to cheat me. No one must ever learn that I stole money from the guild coffers. I'm never satisfied with what I have. I always want more. I will kill to acquire the noble title jeez man i am har wait i am horribly jealous of anyone who can outshine my handiwork wherever i go i am surrounded by rivals jesus christ man this gonna make him a fucking psychopath or something Okay, I'll do anything to get my hands on something rare or priceless. I mean, that sounds... That sounds right. <laughs> I guess we should go with that because, I mean, shit, man. I'm still a fucking asshole, but less of an asshole. So should I put nature that's, uh... Chaotic? Natural chaotic, I think. I think I should. Because that's not, isn't that how it is? Like, just because of your ideals and all that, this is what makes you. Wait, let me, let me see, let me see. Because I'm not really sure what traits I have. Let's see. Is it no, it's class features? Where where are the ideals and all this shit that I can't even Oh okay. 
Okay, okay. Shit. I don't know. I mean, I guess I just have to put na neutral. And... <sighs> yeah, I guess that's it, man. Because I don't know anything else. Do I have to pick only one or two? Because here is like, how many did I pick? One, two, one, two, one, two. Is that how it works? Exactly. Because I think I'm fine with just one, right? I think one would be enough. It doesn't say how many I have to pick. Yeah, I, I don't see that. I don't see that they're supposed to pick more than one or two. Because I know here you can pick two. But I mean, if I can just pick one, I mean, who gives a shit for real? Yeah, I guess I'll do that. I mean, we can actually, I think, keep up with the video then. Because, I mean, I already know what I want to do. Engine master and just create my own background rather than using a pre-set one. But for the sake of this video, we'll be using one of these. Ah, perfect. I actually know exactly what background we want to do. There's one called the Hermit. You live in seclusion, either in a sheltered community or such as a monastery, or entirely alone for a formative part of your life. And that's basically what's happened to our Dwarven Druid. He made himself a hermit of the force. So thanks to being a hermit, we do get a couple of different bonuses from that. For example, being a hermit gives us skill proficiencies in medicine and religion. So we can go back to our skill table and become proficient in medicine and religion, giving us another plus two to both of those roles, so we can update that. It also gives us proficiency in an herbalism kit, so that we can actually work with different flowers and things to make concoctions or potions or natural healing. Although we may not be great at it since, you know, our nature skill, we aren't proficient in that, but we can still add that to our other proficiencies table down in the lower left of the character sheet, along with our... Oh, so that's where I'm supposed to put them. Oh, uh, so that's proficiencies. I have to... what? Okay. I'm proficient with what? Proficient tools, right? Artisan tools? That's what I should put? Yeah, sure. Let's put... Oh god, why is it not? <laughs> it wasn't letting me fucking write that. Artisans tools. Should I put artisans or artisan tools? Eh, let's go with artisans tools. Okay, I mean, so that's a proficiency. I should actually. What? Well, well, actually, wait a minute. I think I should be putting down my other information and the things that I'm proficient at. I haven't marked that down. Like, when. Jeez. Yeah, my proficiencies. I actually have to add a language. So let's see. Proficiencies, proficiencies. The gnome doesn't have a proficiency? Am I just dumb? Oh. Oh wait, it's it's the it's not that. Jeez, it's the 
It's more like the, uh... Yeah, the fucking... What do you call it? The barbarian, right? Aren't I proficient or something? Hmm. So those are my only proficiencies? Okay. Am I not proficient in anything else? Do I have to put if I'm proficient? Like, I mean, things that are important to me, I should put down there. And I need to add a new language. I mean, I can mark down that I'm good with... Let's see, weapons simple and martial weapons. Yeah, I think I could just mark down like things that are important to actually remind myself because I may screw that up a little bit actually let's just put armor and no oh fuck I just I <coughs> shit um, that slight armor. And that's shield. Right? Yeah. Yeah, shield and well, she olds. Let's see, um... That, well, yeah, weapons. What am I... It took me a while to fucking... Oh, fuck. Oh my god. There we go. Uh, that would be... Simple weapons mar <laughs> Simple weapons and martial weapons. Yeah, cause weapons I can I can just put that and then uh Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I don't have to put what I'm proficient in the other things because I can clearly see like, oh, I'm proficient in this, I'm proficient in these. And I wouldn't have to like fucking worry on paying attention to it. I mean, sleight of hand could have been very useful. Nah. It's not. <laughs> We're not going back on that. <laughs> we already made the choice. And we have insight and persuasion. Persuasion will be good because we can fucking pursue people. Not worry so much about sleight of hand. Or stealth. So. I'm still like kind of regretting it. I'm still thinking of it like this. I'm like, oh shit, but sleight of hand <laughs> can steal something. <laughs> hey, but at least I have a plus four there. That could be very fucking good. If I get a 20, it could be 24, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Passive wisdom perception. What the fuck does that even mean? Do I have that? Passive wisdom perception. What? What is this? Oh, shit. These are the traits I get. Okay. I, I I don't really have I can't see in the dark, right? Because I'm a gnome. No, gnomes don't really have an ability like that. Yeah. Oh, shit. Natural illusion. You can... You know, the minor illusion can trip. It tells us your spell casting ability for it. What? Oh shit, I didn't read that. Well, I don't know if I can use it now. I'm fucking stupid. But I can stalk. I, I can stalk. I mean, I can talk to animals. Can trip. Let's see what it is. Oh. Cantrip. Cantrip is a spell that can be cast at will without using a spell slot, without being prepared in advance. Repeated practice has fixed the spell at the caster's mind and Infused with cash or with a magic needed to proceed with the effect over and over. Okay. So I can use magic too? Shit. I didn't <laughs> I didn't expect that. So does that mean I can use any magic I want? Really? 
How does that even fucking work, actually? I could I could search in the book what you know like what that could mean if I can find it. I mean, let's check what. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, you know, because I didn't know about that. So I can spell cast. My intelligence is slow and I can spell cast. Amazing. <laughs> but it's not really a person. Per, uh, I'm not. I don't get a bonus there at all. So it's more like just I can do it. So, yeah. I guess I'll just add that here that I can, I can, I can use like a spell, I guess, because I'm not going to remember that. Natural, new, uh, blah, blah, blah. natural illusionist. that is page 37 page 37 because I gotta keep this in mind then that means because then I could probably use a fucking magic ability the reason I don't want to use magic ability is because I think it's a little bit too confusing and I don't think I'm ready for that but hey, if I can add at least one, because it says like, you know, the minor illusion cantrip, it challenges your spell casting ability for it. But it also says here like, what is it like? Yeah, cantrip can, a uh, cantrip is a spell that can be cast at will without using a spell slot, without being prepared in advance. Could you practice has fix a spell? In the caster's mind and infuse the caster with a magic needed to produce the effect the, the effect over and over caster spells is level zero so are these caster spells cantrip yeah acid splash Blade Ward, Booming Blade, damn, <laughs> this is actually kind of cool, <laughs> so I have an ability of my choosing then, but it's like, cast time, ones, duration, one round. I gotta search this. Of, oh, let's check spells. Oh, wait, 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 let's put the animal thing here. What? Oh. Speak to fucking dogs, man. <sighs> Speak. Wait. Small. Beats. <laughs> oh man. Oh. 
Fuck, I forgot to write page. Oh man, that's too far. <laughs> Okay. For now, everything is going well with everything. I just need to mark these down because I, I forgot to. They're important information. I mean, yeah, jeez. Don't know why I didn't do that at first. I should have been fucking pointing these things down. And I should fucking check the like the book and try to see what cantrip spells can I use because this is actually a little bit confusing with the whole cantrip spells I don't know where to check that like let me see what page I can check for that it would have to be spells right or casting a spell or spell list it would have to be that because I can't find cantrip as being its own thing from what I'm looking here Guess I have to go to page two hundred and seven. Does that mean that I can choose only one? Bard spells, cleric spells, druid. What about cantrips? Uh, warlock, wizard spells. Damn it. <laughs> Where's a cantrip spell when you're fucking looking for one? So it doesn't have, like, I, I, do I have to, like, find this where exactly? Don't know what page, though. Because most of this is just, like, for, like, wizards and and like these fucking like strong ass dudes with fucking magic not really for my type of fucking character clone someone can make a fucking clone of themselves what the fuck oh it only costs like you know a thousand you know gp man damn dude i i this is why i wouldn't want to be a fucking like wizard or something like this like the fucking magic costs so much. I mean, I'm pretty sure some of them you can do them, but like... One casting at a time, or whatever. Do you like need to hold... Like... I don't know how to do it. No, no. I don't know where to search for cantrips. Uh, I'm gonna have to like... Well, maybe do that later. I mean, like... Should I really search that later? I mean, we're already here in the spells area. Maybe if I go back... Let's see... Uh, oh, cantrips! Hell yeah, let's see, let's see. Okay, cantrip spells is that you can cast at will without using a spell slot, without being prepared in advance. Okay, but fix fill is the caster's mind and fuse the caster with the magic needed to produce the effect over and over. A cantrip spell is level zero. Um, okay, but like, can I use any magic this level zero? Then does that mean? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's a little bit weird. Oh, I'm I'm so fucking stupid. Holy shit. Like, cantrips were already here. Level 0. Page 27. Well, 207. Damn. Okay. So these are the same spells I'm seeing here, I think. Friends, Dancing Light, Mage Hand, Mending. <laughs> Mending? <laughs> what is this, Minecraft, bro? <laughs> Minor Illusion. 
Prestig... Wait, what? Prestigation. What's Prestigation? True Strike. Vicious. Mockery. I have to look for these spells. What do they exactly do? Wait, what? 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 Where do I look for these? Because there's like not a specific area. Oh, yeah, but it's just telling me the name. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. I get it. I think I'm actually understanding this. Okay, okay. Everyone has a magic. Or whatever the fuck you want to call it. That means I can use anything that's level zero, I guess. Because no bar... I'm not saying anything about barbarians. I'm just saying, like, everyone has a cantrip spell. That includes... Well, not everyone. That would include a sorcerer... Wait. That means I can use it, right? It doesn't matter if I'm a wizard or a warlock, right? That's my understanding. Or I can't because I'm a barbarian. Will that like negate that ability? See, this is this is why I'm a little bit confused. There's no saying if me as a barbarian gnome I can use this ability. There's no real saying here <sighs> do I have to be like specifically like magic based in order for this okay small cow traps spike trips work by causing their what what, <laughs> what the fuck yeah, that's what I press. Why is that so weird? Okay. I don't know, man. It's a little bit infuriating, man. Like... Yeah. How do I choose a cantrip? You can click on the name of... Each spell to see a description of the spell. Then on your class, you can choose anywhere from... Two to four cantrip... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is D&D Beyond. Maybe they could tell me something. Wait, do I have that same page here? No, it's not the same. It's just got the same art style. Yeah. Uh, Hogan, blah, blah, blah. No, casting power cantrips. Cantrips are basic spells that have been drilled into the 
every cast mind through the content repetition and require no magical energy to cast. Okay. You can cast a character as a uh, character all day. All day long, I mean. Never get tired of song. As level one spellcaster, you can several cantrips from your class to the cantrips available. Click zero in the filter. What? What? Oh, section of the manager spell tab will show the cantrips. Sometimes no zeros are available to your class. Oh. Then click on the name. A cell to see description. On your class, you can. Yeah, that's uh. Okay. I don't think I can use them then. That would mean that basically you do have, you can use a counter spell, but it depends on the class you are. But that would mean that, I thought I, I, I understood it pretty well, but clearly not. So yeah, my understanding is I can't use any ability that's magic. It's crazy, man. I mean, that's a. I mean, it would have been cool if you can add, but. Ah, oh, yeah, a barbarian can use one certain magic. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. You can't. That kind of ruins it. I thought I was like, oh, shit, I could do a little bit of a magic trick. I'm no bard. I'm no cleric. Uh, I'm no druid. No paladin. Or ranger, or sorcerer, or even a warlock, a wizard. So all this goes into really nothing. That kind of sucks, man. Got too hyped up on that. I mean, maybe if I talk to my dm maybe she will permit that that i can cast at least a cantrip spell i mean it would be fucking cool like because i get it you're not that class but hey maybe i can take a cantrip spell from anyone else, from anyone because really the the cantrip spells aren't really that strong i guess from what i'm seeing let's see uh yeah, I mean... I should check the fucking list again. So these are cantrips. Acid Splash, uh, Blade Ward. Let's see what this is. You extend your hand and trace a sigil of warding in the air until the end of your next turn. You have resistance against bludgeoning piercing and slashing damage dealt by the weapon attacks ah oh, man look at that it's only spell list for these man okay i'm gonna see if i can talk to my dm to maybe let me use a fucking <laughs> I, I i don't know man i mean hey it's D, you can play however you want and i mean my fucking character can do it but it also depends on really just the fucking the fucking character you use it's kind of like cheating but hey it says my character can do it he's a little fuck it's a little fucking gnome man ain't nothing it says about races man if the gnome can do it the fucking gnome can do it <laughs> i really want my fucking gnome to at least do a little fucking thing yeah it doesn't say clearly 
yeah it clearly doesn't say anything about ah oh, you need to be a wizard or something it just says yeah you know minor illusions cantrips intelligence is your spell casting ability for it that's it yeah you can do a little spell bippity boppity your dick is soplity <sighs> yeah 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 I guess I'll just see I'll talk to my DM about it if I can use it or not then I'll take it out if not and I repeated that a lot sorry <laughs> yeah um I should check now what other things are important in my proficiencies like Okay, as Barbarian, what are my proficiencies? Well, one, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I think I already have everything. Oh, 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 I forgot to put about the... God damn, man. I actually forgot to put the uh what my character is proficient in oh no i did it artisan tools <laughs> damn it <laughs> i already did it i already did it yeah yeah Yeah. Well, I would have to choose one then. And I have to choose the language. Um, I guess I should go to languages to see. Yeah, to see what languages I can learn. Because the thing is, this game, like, I, again, we, we weren't really sure, so we put like a couple languages. I think we put like four or something. I know some of us has more than four languages or whatever the fuck, but you know that's like kind of cheating, honestly. Why would I want to do that? Then I'm already learning a lot from this, so I guess I should just follow all this shit. There's no specific area for languages, is there? Unless here in the first pages there is something about language, maybe. Racial traits, language. Hmm. This is chapter four, but I mean. Uh, just says stuff about the game, really. I'll check languages and uh, what's the uh, where do I check? Yeah, list. Okay, what are my languages? Oh fuck, I didn't check that. <laughs> fuck, man. 
it's like I'm going backwards. Uh, like, I, I know something and then I go backwards to be like, oh shit, I forgot something. Okay, yeah. You can speak and read common and gnomish. Is use wait the gnomish language, which uses the Dorvish script, is renewed for its technical reasons. Okay. I am going to add, uh, yeah. Okay, um... Oh, yeah, no, Mish. Why, why did it take me so long? That's no, Mish. Add another one. Uh, language typical speaker typical. Uh, well, I mean, dragonic, maybe. Let's see. Primordial, Zealand, Great Characters, Eternals, Infernal Devils, Dragons, Celestials, Demons. Oh, so Demons and Devils are different. What the fuck? Abyssal. Abyssal. Goblin, Halfling, Orc, Gnomish. Um, deep speech. <laughs> the fuck is that? Maybe I should add orc because the whole thing that I want to do is. I actually want to fucking include in my, like, backstory that, uh, this is gonna be a relative, well, not relative, but a descendants of my character from the fucking, like, other D&D. &D. Like, that's the whole plan. So he should speak orc. I mean, it... It's what I want to do, so I guess orc. And that's really it. So these are all the traits that I have for now. Holy shit. And this is taking a bit of a pretty long while here. Yeah. 
I might just end it here. I know there wasn't much to be done. I mean, I, we did add everything that we can use and read a couple things. So I think for today, that would be it. I'm getting honestly kind of tired already. Yeah. Let's leave it at that. I hope everyone has a good uh day uh i know like i'm having a lot of fun with this and yeah to next time and honestly i hope everyone again has a good day and i'll talk to you